Assalamu alaikum, my name is Nibras Muhammad and welcome to this short tutorial on how to install Kali Linux on your Ubuntu system or any Debian system out there. This is very simple tutorial and is very useful if you need to make some hacks and you don't want to use Kali Linux as your daily driver. So this is very simple for you and I'm gonna show you the simple trick. On how to do that so the first thing you need to consider is you have to have a, um, I mean working network connection you must have to get uh, internet service working and then after that you just need to go to your terminal to confirm if you have a Python installed on your system uh, as a matter of fact most uh, Linux distribution come along with uh, a Python installed on it so you don't need that but you just need to verify if it's there in order not to have any problem because if it's not installed then the tool we are going to use is not gonna work because the tool is written is in Python programming language so it requires a Python 2.7 and above okay so to confirm if you have Python installed on your system you just need to type in Python okay then Python what am I doing? Okay, version. Sorry, I'm, uh, I made a mistake in typing the Python. The research here. Python. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Uh, I don't know what's happening to me. Okay. Okay, Python version. As you can see, I have Python 2.7.12 installed on my system so i don't need to install python again you just need to verify this if you didn't have python install your system then you just need to search in, on the internet to get how to install python on your machine that is very is very simple and easy okay so the next thing you just need to do is you need to have a uh, super user privileges all right so then the command to do that you just need to type in sudo and then su then enter then type in your password and that's all you see I have a root access now I can execute any command I wished so the command we're going to use here is you just need to type in git clone HTTP github github.cim slash lion sake slash Kathleen Kathleen dot git and copy cp which means copy Kathleen slash Kathleen dot py slash then you need to specify the directory and then we saw slash bin slash tooling okay this is the command you're going to use to clone the uh, Kathleen tool from github and to your system so as you know I already have the tool installed on my system so I I definitely will have a problem here because I will have an error command which will tell me that the the destination already existed on my system so you just need to do that I mean it's going to work on your system as I'm having problem on here the pro the main the, the, the main cause of the problem is I already have the tool installed on my system okay so as you can see enter you see destination path Kathleen already exists and it's not an empty directory okay so that's the problem it's telling me that I already have that Kathleen directory on my system which is right here on my uh, on my home directory as you can see here Alright, Kathleen is right here. I'm sorry. Yeah, you see it. I already have it here. Alright. So the next thing you need to do is you have to add some permissions to the file you download it, okay? CH mode. Sorry. Plus execute, which means X mean means execute, okay? Then you just need to write USR slash bin slash Kathleen okay then you just need to I will still have 
problem here because I already have everything in order. So I just I'm just trying to I'm just showing you how to type in the code. Though you, I, I I know you already know how to type in the codes, so there's no need for that. Okay, so, but I just need to show you. All right, just to make things clear. Oh, all right, it's okay. There's no any error. All right. See, it's more than yeah done. Everything is clear. Then the next thing you just need to do after that. Which means if you executed all the commands without having any problem, without ha having any output error, then it means that the Kathleen is already on your system and it's working fine. I mean, it's already there without any problem. So the next thing you just need to do to open the Kathleen tool, you just need to go to your terminal again and then type in sudo and then Kathleen. Uh, you see? Then you just need to type in enter and then type in your password. All right, and as you can see, the capturing tool is right here. Okay, so uh, the next thing you just need to do is you go to the add Kali repositories and update number one, then add Kali Linux repositories number one. Also, this is very okay. You just need to wait for some. Okay, then you just need to update the repository you just added to your system number two. So you just need to wait for some few seconds. This this depends on the speed on your network of your network. If your network is fast, then you just need to wait for some seconds. You have a very poor network, then you have to wait for like a minute or two minutes. I don't know. It depends. Okay, just wait. Uh huh. As we are waiting. All right, it's done. Then you just need to go back. Just type in back and then go. As you can see, this are the this is the category of the Kali Linux tools here. So one thing I just need to show you is the Kali menu, which is very useful if you if you really need it. I mean, as you can see, it's right here. I installed it on my system. So you see, it categorizes all your applications in order. As you can see, I have password attacks, wireless attacks, everything is order, and I have my usual applications right here everything so i would i, I, I mean is very it's, it simplifies everything i will not have any problem i mean any difficulties while searching for a certain application so I'll just go through the categories and check it out you can see everything is okay so it's very useful if you just need to install it then you just type in full and then okay and what we need to do now is we just go to number two which is the categories of the linux tool i mean linux, kali linux tools all right you see these are the hacking tools these are the categories of the hacking tools you just need if you want to install all the cati i mean all the tools on your system you just need to type in zero and then enter so i don't need that i just need some certain applications i want to use i just need to check some applications and so so i'm just going to i mean that that's okay after you reach this i mean you have kali i mean you have the Kathleen tool on your system so you don't have to worry about anything again i'm just going to show you how to install applications from the cartooling tool which is very simple but i just need to make things clear i mean without any problem in order not to encounter any problem okay so i'm going to install like let me check it out i'm um, reverse engineering yeah number 12 type and then apk tool is very useful dex to jar i already have that um all right smally yeah let me just install smally okay smally number nine just need to type in nine just need to show you i'm just showing you without i just you see smally yeah it's not that heavy just need to wait it depends on your network speed all right you just need to wait for the application to be downloaded to your system and that's all um i think we're done here and the f the next thing I just need to tell you is one thing you just need to do after all this is very important, is very useful because without doing this, you have a, I mean, broken system. You will never, you will not have any opportunity to update your system because you you will be having error. So, excuse me, you just need to go back, back. Okay. The next thing you need, the last thing you need to do before you exit the Catalin tool, you just need to, you have to, you must, I mean, you must have to uh, remove the repositories, the Kali Linux repositories before you, before you go out. 
okay you just need to type in one because without removing the repositories you will have problem because your system will not be updated that's it you'll be having error like this as you can see this error will be coming to your system so you just need to remove that in order to do that you just need to number three remove all repositories which is right there just need to type in three and then enter and that's all you just need to exit the bar and you're done and everything is okay i mean that's all you just need to do i f i hope this video helps you and happy hacking enjoy yourself and thank you very much for waiting for watching my video